Hey guys! Today we're making a doll teddy bear inspired by Build-A-Bear. I didn't copy any of the exact designs from the website, I was more so just inspired by the whole concept of having stuffed animals with accessories, so I really hope you'll enjoy. Because I know a lot of you don't like to or are unable to sew, I chose to make a non-sew version, so first I made the base using Poma clay. And you don't need to add any details at all, you just want the basic shape. I wanted to be able to move the arms and legs at least just a bit, so I made all the parts separately. I also have a video on my channel showing how to make a fully posable teddy bear, so definitely check that out if you're interested. In that video I also use fur, which you can easily replace using yarn, so if you don't want to use fabric, that's another option. Once all the parts have been baked, you can take any fabric of your choice, though I do recommend using stretchy fabric. And you then just want to cover all the body parts with fabric. Even though I am making a pretty simple basic teddy bear, you can use the same method to create any other stuffed animal you want. You also want to make sure that each body part has some excess fabric that you can then glue onto the body. And then lastly, you can cover the body itself. Lastly, I added some ears and a tail. And then I used acrylic paint to paint the accent color. And the reason why I'm not mixing the acrylic paint with fabric medium for this one is because you're not really going to bend the fabric. I made some eyes and a nose using pommel clay, baked that and then glued it in place. I then painted this using brown acrylic paint just to soften the look a tiny bit. As for the accessories, I chose to keep it super simple, so I first made an open PJ type thing. For this you just want to fold over some fabric, roughly measure the size you need and then cut it out. Sew along the sides, cut a hole for the neck and then cut where the belly is going to be. I 
I painted on a few stars using acrylic paint mixed with fabric medium. Finally, for the pillow, you just want to cut two squares, then glue a sew along the sides, leaving one small space open, flip it inside out, add some batting, and then glue it closed. Really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.